She doesn't have a name yet, but the new machine is ready. of trying to record me talking about my bike and what I want to talk about in this video. So I wanted to introduce my new bike, which is strategically placed behind me. Um, I haven't quite decided on a name yet, although Hermione is the leading candidate so far. Um, the main bit of this video is to hopefully show you some footage of it being built, um, why I've chosen this bike and uh, how I've ended up going for a new bike for 2023 and beyond. After qualifying for Kona in Wales in September, Amy and I and others, family, etc., made the commitment of uh, kind of going all in on triathlon. Um, not that I was sort of half in beforehand, um, but if I was gonna do it for another year or so, I wanted to um, really give it everything I had. For the most part, that meant equipment, going away, where a race, etc. Um, but it also meant potentially taking some time off work to sort of train full time and, and as well. Part of that commitment was to try and seek some sponsorship. Never had a sponsor before. I've never really tried to gain one, never received anything for free. Um, but going into 2023, with in particular the um, career break uh, which I keep alluding to uh, being an option. If I wanted to have the best stuff to race on, the best kit, the best equipment, etc., um, I obviously needed to be a bit frugal with where I spent my money and so forth. In October, November, I reached out to essentially any of the brands or any of the places that I used to train, equipment I'd used, etc. Um, so, for example, I reached out to Brooks, didn't get sponsorship from them. Uh, Precision Fuel and Hydration, who I am now an ambassador for, my local massage therapist, the local leisure centre now technically sponsor me or I don't pay for my membership, um, which is really useful. Parkour Wheels, um, they said no, unfortunately, but I essentially reached out to the brands and kit that I wanted to carry on using that I'd already used for a few years and hopefully I could show I could add some value. Now, the main one I reached out to was my local bike shop, which is Harpenden Cycles. I initially asked if they would support me effectively for my servicing and the odd parts and stuff that I need to keep my fleet of bicycles as well as Amy's on the road for the year. And the answer was effectively yes straight away, which was well received. I then sort of pushed my luck a little bit to see what the options might be around a sponsorship for a bike. Now I know lots of other age group athletes or even professionals that have sort of rather than affiliations with the brands themselves, but shops that either um, give them the bike, loan them the bike, get them to buy the bike, but at a discounted rate. Um, so I, it's worth asking for. I was very fortunate that um, Lee and Matt and Will at Harper and Cycles collectively effectively said, we've never done this before. We have no idea whether any of the brands we work with would go for it, but let's try. The main two brands they stock are Trek and Scott, and effectively they ask both the reps that they deal with and the companies if they'd help. And the winner, or the sort of most helpful as such, was Trek. What I have managed to secure from Harper and Cycles is effectively buying this bike at a significantly reduced price. We went for a frame in the end, as trying to buy a full complete bike was a little bit problematic with sizing and uh, stock actually at Trek. But actually the frame option worked really well for me as it allowed me to then pick the group set, pick the wheels um, that I put on the bike. If Dov is watching, I still bought parkour wheels if he ever wants to sponsor me. And pick the front end, which when finished will be uh, the complete watch shop front end um, on the bike. That allowed me to almost for a cheaper amount of money or less money actually get the bike I wanted rather than buying a bike with cranks that were too long 
or the, the front end on the Trek is not that flexible and not that nice, not that aero sort of thing. So it actually worked out very well. So I'm now going to hopefully overlay some footage of some time lapses that are vaguely interesting uh, and talk a bit about how we built the bike and some of the problems we have and some of the things that we still need to change and finish off. Um, the observant of you will see that the front end's missing a few parts and the saddle is uh, currently missing. Because we bought the frame, we had to buy the seat post. Um, I had to source the base bar, which in some ways I could say Billy and Fenella sponsored me because they donated me that, which was very useful. And we had to buy some spacers for the headset, uh, etc. But even though you buy a frame, it doesn't come with them from Trek, which is somewhat useful or not. So we had to put that together. Um, I've gone for, at the moment, a SRAM one by system. It's currently got a little baby 52 chain ring and we're looking to change that out as we speak. I'm hoping to try and source the 54 chain ring with the power meter. It's not actually something available to the public by our accounts, but hopefully through a little bit of a relationship with Trek through the shop, they're gonna try and source me one. You see them on bikes like Alistair Brownlee's, Jan Fadino's, Wild Fun Arts, etc. Not that I'm in their category, but a 54 tooth would be perfect for pretty much most of the racing I'm gonna do this year. I've currently got training wheels on it, which are some Parkour's Grimpier wheels, which are 40 mil. I've got the exact same wheels on my road bike, albeit not for disc brake, and I love them. They're lightweight, they're great for training on, um, and they kind of do a bit of everything. What shop front end, I will have the full Animoy system, and the ends of the poles are missing because I ordered the ones for the SRAM blips, and actually I want the buttons on the end, and the guys at What Shop have kindly agreed to swap them out for me, so they're currently waiting for them to post them back to me. And that is pretty much it. I will have a Bond Traeger Hilo Pro carbon saddle. That's something that Trek have donated the shop to give to me. And there will be the nice aero bottle in here at some point come race season. I will run or have run, once I get a power meter, some speed play aero pedals. And that is pretty much it. I'm undecided on race wheels at this point. It's very likely I will get some parkours wheels. I'll have a deep chrono front and a disc wheel. Hopefully I can get hold of a set of them, either from parkours direct or potentially find some on the second hand market. So after we'd managed to put the bike together, I did manage to squeeze in a quick bike fit with Liam Maybank down at Aero Revolution in Surrey. Uh, it's the first bike fit I'd had with Liam, although he had helped me previously on some equipment checks and stuff uh, before Wales. It was the first time I met him in person and we did a bit quick bike fit. Um, I was really keen to make sure that sort of saddle, pedal and the initial front end setup um, was comfy or as comfy as it could be for a new bike before I went and did some serious miles on it in Lanzarote. Um, it's from having that bike fit that after Lanzarote we knew we were going to make a few other changes. So we are going to cut down the base bar length and as I said we want to put the single-sided armrests on the bike so I can get a bit narrower. So to wrap up this video, if you have made it nearly nine minutes into this point, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate uh, your time you've spent either on your turbo or wherever you watch these videos. Just wanna say a massive thank you to Harpen and Cycles for their support. Um, hopefully I'll be able to repay that with some talks at the shop some help on their social media front and lots of other little things and possibly even generate a sale or two for them if I find some people that want to buy a bicycle. Doesn't need to be a top of the range TT bike. They do lots of off-road gravel, e-bikes, etc. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go 2023. And I cannot wait to race this thing in about seven weeks time. I think the first race of the season will be. Cheers.